In this video, I'm gonna do another what's in your bag for 2020. I've done one video already about this, but I have changed my set so much that I need to do another of these what's in my bag videos for high handicap players in 2020. So this is my bag and let's start from the top this time with my Cleveland Launcher HB Turbo. It has nine degrees of loft and as you can see I've used it a lot. The shaft is the stock shaft with stiff flex. It's the Miyazaki Sikua, uh, made in Japan, by the way. And I have the Golf Pride uh, Align Grip. It is a great club. It is easy to hit and uh, it goes far. I had a fitting for this one and um, it came up very close to the Callaway Maverick. Uh, but um, that one is, of course, much more expensive. So I got this one. And of course, I like the look of it too. So that's why. Uh, beautiful head cover as well. And I also have the Cleveland Launcher HB Turbo in a 5 wood. So this is an 18 degree loft 5 wood. I've used it a lot as well. Um, it has the stock shaft, the Miyazaki Sikua in stiff flex, and also with the Golf Pride Align grip. I have shortened this uh, club uh, 0 0.75 inches, uh, and on my driver, my driver, I have shortened one inch to make it easier to hit. It's not easier anyway, though. It's still hard. And then I have the Ping G410 4 Hybrid with um, 22 degrees of loft. I haven't done anything to adjust it. It has an adjustable neck. It also has the stock shaft, the Alta, the Ping Alta, uh, 70 grams uh, in stiff flex. And here I have the Golf Pride just regular boring grip. So this is the Ping G410 hybrid, four hybrid. And now let's move to my irons, my set iron set. Uh, I have recently just bought a new set, as many of you know, who have been watching my channel for a while. Um, these are the new addition to my set. The Cobra King F9 one length irons. I'm playing one length irons. And for you who don't know what the one length irons is, is that it's easier to hit them because they have all the irons in the set has the same shaft length. The standard seven irons uh, shaft length of uh, 37 and a half inches. Uh, so all your clubs from 5 to pitching wedge are 37 and a half inches long the shaft making it easier to hit consistently all the time so I love them they are regular flex a little softer than the irons I had in my last video which was the Callaway Maverick Max with a steel shaft I I like these more uh, I have slowed down my swing lately so that's why i needed some irons that had a softer shaft flex so uh, and these are graphite the atmos from fujikura one length so i really really love this set it's uh, worth looking at if you're a high handicapper like me so that's nice and from my old set my old i'm saying but it's really new because it was the set i had before my one length irons the maverick callaway maverick max irons with a project x loading zone 95 gram shaft with 5.5 flex which is just in between stiff and regular and i have the aligned grip 
on here as well. I love the Align grips. Uh, we don't know if you can see them, but uh, the, it's a thicker line underneath here, so you can have that in the, your fingers, and it's easier to hold your club more consistently. I really like those. But I, I chose to keep my gap wedge or my uh, A wedge from my Maverick Max set. So I chose to keep this one because it was uh, it's good to hit and I needed something in between my pitching wedge and my 52 degree wedge, uh, which I'm going to show you now. This is my 52 degree wedge from Cleveland. It's the Cleveland RTX 3 uh, with 10 bounds. It is 52 degrees and 10 bounds. It has a standard dy dynamic gold true temper uh, shaft, steel shaft. It's really nice. It's, uh, it's a club I have enjoyed and I bought it new this season as well. Even though the RTX4 was out, I chose to get this one really cheap, um, the RTX3. And then we have the Sure Out from Callaway, a 58 degree uh, sand wedge. It's a nice club to hit, and but sometimes I feel like it's too much bounce on it. You can see it's way big bounce on it, but yeah, I kind of like it. It has the KBS standard stock shaft and a boring Callaway grip, to be honest. And here I have the Cobra Big Trusty Rusty. Uh, it's an old 60 degree wedge. It has standard wedge flex. Uh, steel shaft even though it's black and of course it uh, is the rusty or trusty rusty so it's rusting um, it's an old wedge and 60 degrees in my opinion is too much for a high handicap player and it has the stock sh uh, stock grip which uh, should be replaced I'm actually thinking about taking this club out of my bag, out of my set, because I hit it very badly and I hardly ever use it. I use it only when I'm in trouble and I can hit a rock or something because I don't care too much about this club, so I don't mind if I scratch it up or do anything bad to it. Uh, but as I said, 60 degrees in my opinion and my sand wedge, which is 58 degrees, it's uh, too much loft. And now I have come to my new putter. This is a Titleist Scotty Cameron putter. Uh, they are really expensive. This is the 2018 Select Squareback with the uh, weights. So you can replace the weights to get them. Um, get the putter to fit you more perfectly uh, if you like that. So this is a really nice putter and uh, of course it's one of the best I've ever had. It has the standard uh, grip from uh, Scotty Cameron. Uh, the Scotty Cameron Studio Design grip. It also has a 34 inch uh, shaft to make it better fitted for me that's my whole set if you want to see more of my channel which is for high handicap golfers hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if you like this video guys that helps me out if you hit the like button it tells YouTube that this guy this video is worth seeing so that helps me out it helps my channel grow and uh, see you guys soon thanks